Thank you, Dear Minister. Um, first, let me start by thanking their Royal Highnesses um, for coming to this meeting, but also to express our appreciation for your flexibility. I mean, it would have been better to see you in the palaces individually, but you agreed to come here. Please continue so that Yamayo can pick up the issues I'm saying, because he raised some of the issues. So, to Asali Fesana for agreeing to come to this meeting at short notice, especially in rearranging the program that you come here. Um, secondly, to thank you for the leadership that you continue to provide to Bantu Besu. We, your people, sometimes we don't have time to thank you for the work you are doing for the people. We know the difficulties that you operate under. We appreciate that. But it's important you appreciate that this government considers you as partners in delivering services to the people. These ministers and us are your children. What we are doing is to save the people under your chief tops. So at that point, we are one. We are your partners. You are our partners. I wanted to make that clear so that we work together to deliver development we are in touch. What we say development in Namwanga, uh, Mambwe, Tumbuka, Chituku, like Nyanja, Chituku. Yeah. That is uh, Namwanga now. And Mambwe, similar? We are is to cook. That's our job. We work together. We hold hands, unity, not divisions, but unity for we are for Chitukuk. That's very important to us, for us to emphasize. And Yamayo, I got your message loud and clear. I will come for my gift. Yasichirima will come for my gift. Because that's my name, Yasichirima. Yes. Because Hichirima, Sichirima, one name. <laughs> one name. It's just that over years the distances grew apart from the time we were together. But we are one people. I'm serious about that. So I'll come for my gift. I'll come to the palace someday. Back to the issues we have raised. Thank you for raising these issues. Washamfumu. These are developmental issues. We agree with all of them. We agree with all of them. And we will work to organize working on each of these items one by one in an organized way because that's what this government is. But just to say infrastructure, yes. We inherited a very difficult economy in Congole. We found in Congole through this roof. But we have worked on that. So infrastructure is important for development. We had the issues of the roads you mentioned. 
national greed, yes. Unfortunately, what the drought did is that the power we have here, this is national grid, isn't it? This is on national grid. Nakonde is now on national grid. Where this power is coming is from southern province. All of this power you see here is coming from Victoria Force Station, southern province coming from Kariba, southern province coming from Itechiteji, it's coming from Kafir Gorge Upper, Kafir Gorge Lower. Because there was a drought there, there was less water and it affected the electricity. Hence the challenges we have. But we are working on developing solar. Just last week we signed 1,000 megawatts of solar. Uh, CEC, which is partially owned by government, is working on that. We commissioned 60 megawatts and we want to see more stations. Kalungwishi here, this part of our, our world, our country, we're working on it, and so many other things. So, in a nutshell, we will work on these issues. We've only been in government two years, six months, and the first two years we were fighting to get a debt restructure. Now that we've achieved that, we will put more attention and more resources on developmental issues. So I want to assure you of that, working together in unity. Agriculture is important. The people here work hard, the farming people, like many others in the country. There's more rain here, I agree with you. We want to support, yes, irrigation, so that we can produce at least two crops a year, not just waiting for the rains, but even in the dry season. As we were flying here, there was a lot of water I was seeing down there. And I was asking the minister which area is this, which place. I'm very inquisitive myself. I want to know what is going on. So, yes, we'll support you. We'll support our farmers because we need to produce more food. But to start with, we will continue with FISIP to confirm, but we'll clean up the inefficiencies, including the thefts that are going on. But we know FISIP is not enough, so we've opened an agricultural credit window, which will now bring more resources for farming, for fertilizer, for seed, but also for bigger quantities, because FISIP is to help everybody to have food. But the agricultural credit window will take care of the bigger farmers, the bigger needs including mechanization. And we must not walk away from cattle because it's cheaper to plow with cattle. I grew up plowing with cattle. I still do it, even on my own farm, big farm. I still use the cattle because it's cheaper than a tractor. I want to put it that way. But some areas have no cattle. We can deal with that. So agriculture credit window, mechanization, um, so that's the support that we'll give for irrigation. I got your point on the policies. Before I leave the agriculture, your son, Yamayo, has made a decision here that all the chiefs from coming this season will get fertilized and seed, every chief, so that they can produce food for themselves, so that they don't have to depend on subjects. And we hope that you will all be able to produce food. Even a chief who is not a farmer, they will use somebody to farm for them to produce food. <laughs> Everybody, all of you. We will also want to give you small irrigation support if you have water around your palace so that you can irrigate. This is in addition to the palaces. And we got your message on the speed. Remember the palaces, we only started because the first year, second year, we were not able to incorporate that in the budget. So this is the first year. Yes, we announced it, but this is the first year. But we take note of the issue of speed. I think we gave a number of contracts to national service. No, 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 no. Correctional services, the prisons. If they are slow, colleagues, let's pick up this matter. We'll review this problem. If you're in Galanda, for now. So... 
the vehicles, we got your message. So we couldn't be building palaces, we couldn't be doing certain things at the same time, uh, buy the vehicles, but we take attention that the chiefs here don't have vehicles. I know that uh, Chief Kachete knows that we have known each other for a long time. Sorry for exposing you, sir. <laughs> we have known each other for a long time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we will pay particular attention to the chiefs that have never been given vehicles, because we know under the PF some chiefs were given vehicles, others were not. So we'll focus on you who were not given vehicles as priority number one. So please, my colleagues, make note of that. Yeah, make note of that. Um, Ministry of Chiefs, I want to put it very clear. I don't want to uh, lie to you. One of this government's objective is to lower the cost of, business, of doing business, government business, not to spend money on too many ministers. PF had 70 ministers. I have only 25. Only 25 ministers. That money we are saving is the money we have used to build palaces. Is the money we have used to give free education. Is the money we have used to give meal allowances to students. Is the money we are using to give fertilizer. That's the way it works. So this government wants to reduce the cost of administration in government and take the money from the administration to the people. That's why CDF is 30.6 million watts. You have never seen money like that in CDF. And that money is given equally to all the constituencies. If we transfer 10 million as a down payment, we do it one day, all the constituencies. Our colleagues in PF was only 1.6 million, but for many opposition M MPs that time, they were not giving CDM. Us, no, that's before Kapatulula. We give to everybody at the same time. That's the money we are using. I would rather we use that money to give to CDF for skills training, which you are seeing now. Our children who haven't gone to university are going through plumbing, carpentry, um, metal workshop courses. Very important. Rather than putting in the ministries, the minister, the vehicle there. So what we would do is to address the concerns where you feel you are not serviced properly under local government. Because local government, even under the House of Chiefs, sorry, under the Minister for Chiefs Affairs, they still used to come to local government because the councils are the ones that you work with. Here in Nakonde Council is the one that is supposed to support those of you in Nakonde, Isoka, Mafinga, all the way. So we will address the issues. Filia, the issues that are not being done properly. That's, I think, our concern, rather than just a ministry. Even the churches are saying we want a religious minister. But we have to address the issues that they are concerned about. Even in Galanda, Paricho. Um, so please, I don't want to lie. There will be no minister in that category, but we'll address the issues. And we'll rather move money to you to finish the policies quickly to buy vehicles for you than buying the minister's vehicles. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So. Finally, I think I just want to say I've heard the issue of appointments. I am surprised, colleagues, that under our government we are not employing people from Chief Kacheti, from Chief Mwene. Uh, I don't believe so. Maybe I'm wrong. Because when we employ nurses, teachers, policemen, military people, we are employing from the whole country. So I am going to ask my colleagues, local government, not local government, education, health, uh, home affairs, I'm coming, home affairs, when we employ people, we employ people from everywhere. Unlike the PF who used to employ only friends and relatives, we employ people from across the country. Muchinga has an allocation, minister. If Muchinga has an allocation. We must make sure all the chief domes, all of them, 
bring their children for employment. Tatusalayo, first time your government is doing that. And the records are there to show. Open. No secret. But I will check that. We make note of that. I heard the issue of diplomatic. I wanted to start from employment in government because that's where more jobs are. That's where more jobs are. And I will look at that issue of general employment. I will look at the issue of diplomatic posting. I'm sure that's what you wanted to come in. I took your message very clear. So I will come back, we'll come back to you on those issues. But no Zambian must be discriminated. I'm an ordinary Zambian myself. I have no Hichilema who was MCC under Kaunda. I have no Hichilema who was a minister, who was PS, the zero. Unfortunately, in the area I was born in Wengwa, all the governments that came didn't want to work with the people of Wengwa. They said, ah, these are opposition people, these are ANC people, these are what? But I have no relative who was ever in a government job, in a big job. But here I am. Zambians elected me from your chief jobs. It is my duty to make sure we employ Zambians from all the parts of Zambia. That's my duty. I think that's what I would like to say on this one.